In many ways you could ask the same question about every brand that follows the now common four-year production cycle but Suzuki has made a very weak effort to stay in touch with the times. The 2017 Suzuki doesn't look that much different from the 2008 Suzuki. This does not inspire a sense of urgency among consumers to buy the new bikes because they look like the old ones. It is not uncommon to find that Suzuki's most arrogant defenders are still racing four or five years old RMZ 450S instead of the brand new models. Plus, Suzuki's technical updates haven't been well received by a man in the street that expects a manufacturer to try harder. The forks have gone from average to terrible. Suzuki failed to keep up in the horsepower wars, and makes almost the same horsepower in 2017 that it made in 2011, when every other Japanese manufacturer went to 270 mm front brake rotors. The Suzuki engineers stuck their heads in the sand, while Caton redefined what a 450cc motocross bike should weigh, 222 pounds in 2017. The 2017 Suzuki RMZ 450 still weighs 240 pounds. This is not good ad copy material. The man on the street believes that Suzuki hasn't made any meaningful changes in the last decade. Suzuki's public image is defined more by the negatives about its lack of updates than the merits of any updates it has made. To analyze this, the MSK Let's go.